name is Melissa Langendorfer. I am the operations manager at the Countertop Shop in Monclova, Ohio. We have been in business since 2004, uh, specializing primarily in residential and building countertops. Uh, countertops only, no backsplashes, cabinets, tiles, etc. We um, do a little bit with commercial, not a lot. We are running um, Size-wise, we're uh, mid-40s for the number of employees, and we're running about 550 square feet per day. You know, some people track by dollars, we track by square footages. So uh, all in all, uh, 25 to 2,800 square feet per week. I started with MoraWare in February of 2008. You even notifying us that more aware would be no longer at the end of this year. We had already started to explore some other options for some other types of software systems, not because there was a problem with more aware, just because we were trying to get something that would integrate more into a one-stop uh, program. We had demoed uh, systemized maybe 24 months or so ago. And at that time, it wasn't quite what it is now. So when we came back around, uh, Mike, my dad had actually had us demoing and um, doing some other things. And I kept pushing, come on, come back to systemize. Let's just, let's just sit through it one more time. And I'm glad that we did. We'd actually signed a contract and had started doing some background setup with another product. And I was so fearful of what that change would mean and not necessarily because of fearful of change itself. Just I never really thought that that program was going to do what we wanted it to do. So at the end of the day, after we did the demo with Systemize, we were able here, um, not just myself, but a few of our other staff that had sat in on it. We finally were able to get Mike to just agree to stick with what we already knew would be, you know, tried and true and, and go from there. Our biggest issue is that we had no formal quoting software. All of our quotes were done by hand. Our sales staff would take a drawing that a customer or a vendor provided. They would manually figure the square footage. They'd manually have to type that into an Excel form, and then they'd have to manually fill out the, uh, the, you know, the actual quote file that would go out. So I think at first the biggest fear was um, putting all like uh, – I think it's a good thing. I think fear for others was kind of taking that away from the salespeople. I see that to be a good thing. It's it's more uniform now. Um, I never honestly, had, personally, never had any fear about making a switch from one to the other. Um, literally, it was like flipping a switch. I remember we did it on a Monday night. They said it would be at uh, 5 p.m. in California, 8 p.m. here, and uh, 8.15 maybe. I remember getting an email. I was so excited. I'm at home, and I'm pulling it up from my laptop, and the screen looked a little bit different, and maybe where you click to get somewhere, but all in all, we all came in the next morning, and there, there was no change you know, people may be like, hey, how do I get to that? But it's like, oh, it's it's on the left side instead of the top. But really, other than that, the change was so simple. This was everything here flows so well already from the production standpoint. We did have a little bit of a breakdown between quoting and making a formal order. But as far as everything running through the shop, um, like inventory systems, uh, slab smith integration, this is really great that that all kept. Everything stayed the same. We didn't have to relearn a new software program, really. It also is nice to be able to have all those records still, not having to change over to a new program or re-import all your jobs into something different. But I mean, really at the end of the day, I just, I love MoraWare. I've loved MoraWare. I, I like to call myself the MoraWare guru. If, if I can't figure it out and I have to email you guys, Usually it's a great idea. I get a great idea and later I'll, I'll see that somewhere. I'll see that change, but side note. Um, no, I mean, it just all in all, the, the, the whole company is just, it's, it's, it's great to work with a company that is so driven to be better for their fabricators. You do take our ideas into consideration or you do see where maybe we... Uh, there were some things that were different and systemized that I was like, hey, we used to be able to do this. We used to be able to click here. And maybe that wasn't there right away, but you have, you're finding the ways for us to get back to that. 
looking at all the few questions that have come up about job tracker is mainly what I had mentioned before of uh, I used to do this or I used to click here. Where do I find that now? And those are simple things, a quick email. And really, even if I sent an email, unless it was at 6 a.m. my time, maybe before you guys were in the office, I, it, usually a prompt reply within an hour or two, I would get an answer back always with a, a link to an article, a help topic maybe that I couldn't locate. Um, switching over to CounterGo is a little bit more work for us, but like I said, we hadn't used that previously, so it was more just the setting up and how to implement that. Um, I feel like I was constantly asking questions on what's the best way to do this, or do you have suggestions on how other fabricators might propose this to a customer? But I mean, really, again, it, it wasn't anything that ever kept me up at night. It was uh, such a stressless uh, process, really. Um, the other system we were looking at, it would, it would keep me up at night. And this, I, I had no, I never had any reservations. I never, I never was worried. It wasn't going to be how it was going to be, or, or if it wasn't that we weren't going to get the proper support that we needed to make sure that everything went smoothly. Um, but I actually really think the process is going to run smoother because of the fact that CounterGo is more user-friendly from a handheld standpoint, whether I'm navigating from my phone on a Saturday afternoon or if our field guys, templaters or installers are navigating from a job site. I, I think the process for us ultimately is to become paperless or less paper. I, I don't know if anyone truly can ever become paperless, but the, the system itself will allow us to make that transition. So is the general process, the, the flow or the order change? No, not necessarily, but the software itself will just allow for um, progress, progress of the process, uh, allowing just better information flow between the departments and the, and the people that aren't here. If we're doing 2,500 square feet a week or 25,000 square feet a week, I don't see where more aware systemized would limit us. Like, I, I don't see that... I've said it all along, even before we switched from the more aware to the systemized, like we barely scratched the surface of what more aware was capable of doing as far as reporting or, I mean, even before the EE quotes, like we could have been quoting in more aware, we just didn't or just, you know, just, just the general product tracking and, and the holds. And I mean, there's so many more things we can do that and even now, even with systemized, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm finally getting others to see how many more things the system can do. And I'm, I'm just, I'm excited to see where it will go even, even forward from where we are now, as we all become more familiar with it, just, just even to see what the possibilities are.